So we have seen how to use the if and the switch function together with uh, the related function and we also saw how to use the uh, and operator. You simply do the same thing if you want to use your or operator with the double pipe instead of the double ampersand. Now, a group of uh, function that can be ignored are the table functions because we use table functions to define the tables that we want our formulas to carry. Because this is DAX and DAX is working against tables. We are working on tabular models. Most of our functions are going to be requesting for tables, 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 and tables. So, but because we want to have control over the kind of tables that we are supplying to our function argument, we can use table functions to, you know, manipulate what we supply to our functions. Of course, we are going to see that and it will be clearer with some examples but then let's see the behavior of some of these functions at least at uh, an elementary level before we start to write measures they will come in very handy when we start writing measures so so far whenever you define a calculated column your expression must always return a scalar value because each row can only accept one thing right so whatever uh your formula is going to return for that row has to be just one one and one which is why the only functions you can use on a calculated column are the uh the scalar functions likewise if you want to define a table the only functions you can use to define tables are the table functions take for example if i want to create a new table so let me go over here to table tools and select new table and we are going to see how to use some of these functions so if i come here and i type related for example related you will see that related is not available the only thing i have available is related table that's because related is a scalar function and i'm trying to define a table if i type sum sum you won't find sum because sum is a scalar function if i type uh if you won't find if because if is also a scalar function those things return just single values but table functions are very important in our models because they allow us to manipulate tables when we start writing measures and some of the ones we always always use like we've uh, demonstrated filter the first time we use filter to create a, a new table that has only the organic uh organic sales now i want to show you how to use all so if you use all all just simply looks like uh just like uh the name implies it returns all of whatever table you give to it so all you can see has optional arguments but this optional argument trust me you are going to have to provide the option many times you don't uh have an option okay so all is asking for a table name or a column name so when you use all against the name of a table like if i say all uh, location if i say all location that is the table and i close my bracket and hit enter it's going to give me all the columns on the location table and all the rows so all will always return all the rows no matter what whether you supply a table name to it or you supply a column name it will always return all the rows but if you supply a table name it gives you all columns and all rows but if you give it uh, a column name so let's say all london city and close bracket then it will give me a list of all the cities in london before i hit my close uh before i hit my enter key now you see that i can have uh los angeles i have it quite a number of times here because so many uh poster codes are there somehow i guess so you can see it appearing many times but when i hit enter now all is going to give me a unique list of all my cities so you can see that every city is only appearing only one so that's what all does when you put all on a column it just gives you 
uh, unique list of the values in that column. What if I want to use all? You can also use all against more than a single column. So if I want uh, the city, I want the states, and I want the location ID, for example, I can say all location CT. So remove this closing parenthesis. I'm not done. Put a comma and say all location ID. Put a comma and say all uh, location states. So let's just say these three. And if I close parenthesis and hit enter, then it's going to give me a unique list of all the combined three. So when you combine the three together, it will give me that unique list again. And another variation of all is called all except. So in the case where you really don't want to start dropping columns one by one. So say you have like 10 columns and you need nine of them. You only want to drop one. So you don't need to start listing out the columns one by one like this. You can just use all except. So in this case, I would use all except the city. Okay. So if I say all except, except is asking for a table name first. I'm saying location table is where I want to pick all my columns, comma, except the city, location city. So all except the location city, close bracket and hit enter. And you see that it gives me all the columns of my location table except the city column. 